Hi folks and welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to take a look at The Growler from August Rose Audio so let's check this out So yeah, this is another plugin from Jeremy Fox and his company August Rose Audio, but this time it's a bass plugin and it's called The Growler. I'll let you make your own jokes there. I, I, I have no influence over what you guys think. You can make your own jokes up there. <laughs> but yeah, it's another free plugin. <laughs> I say this one's for bass, and as you see, it's another simple little plugin. So basically, you've all the controls you've got. You've got your input, output, bass, treble, and then you can bypass the plugin altogether. You've got gravel, which is the distortion for the uh, for the low end, and hot, which is the distortion for the uh, the top end. Now, if you want to to have a little, a little bit bit less distortion on on your tone, you can do like like with the uh, the howler. You can just bring the input down a bit and just bring the output up a touch, and to center everything in. You just double click, and it comes with a whole bunch of IRs from Aris Effects, and. You don't have to have any of them. You can have no IR and use your own base IRs, which is pretty cool. So we'll go through those. And there's also a mix knob at the bottom there. So you can blend this tone in with a DI signal. But we'll go through all that in a second when we uh, when we plug a bass in. And then right at the top, you've got controls for the bass and the treble. There's no mid controls. Let's grab hold of a bass and uh, see how this bad boy sounds. The bass that we're going to be using is the Gear for Music 5 string bass. Not this out for a little while. So, oh, and uh, also it doesn't come with any presets, so there's no presets to go through. <laughs> but I'll show you how I have it set, how I would have this set in a little while as well. So, this is how it sounds just as is, and you first plug it in and uh, switch it on. if you just want to have your distortion on your top end you can just switch the growl off Turn that bass down touch. And have a more top endy sound. But like I say, if you didn't want to have so much of the distortion in, you can just bring the input down and bring the output up a touch, just so you're not pushing the uh, the plug in as much. This is how it sounds with just the uh, the low end distortion on. Bring that back in so we'll go through the different irs so this is ir1 with uh, a sub as well and 
on there you've got IR2. So yeah, that's more sort of mid-rangey bass. And then the sub. I do like that one with the sub. I think that one does sound pretty cool. Number three. And with the sub. Number four. And number four with sub. I think that one sounds pretty well rounded as well with the sub. And then number five is just the sub on its own. Uh, I think Jeremy's got some more information on the actual IRs themselves on his video about this. I will put a link to that in the description. But if you want to get a, a more sort of mid rangey tone, what you can do is bring the bass and the treble down a bit. That one, oh, it's bring that number two back in. Now you can do that sort of thing, but what I tend to do is bring this separate track in. I've got a separate track here with a more sort of mid rangey tone, but what I also do for the mid range is I cut a lot of the bottom and the top end out, and I sort of blend those two together to so get this sort of sound. Just to, that's what I tend to do in a mix, just to, to help the bass cut through on smaller speakers. So, there you've heard some examples of the, uh, the growler. Stop it. <laughs> but... Let's see what it sounds like in the mix. So, there you go, that was the Growler from Jeremy Fox and August Rose Audio. 
What do I think about this thing? Does it get the wizard seal of approval? Or does it get the finger of doom? Oh, oh yeah. Definitely gets the wizard seal of approval. Hey, it's free. Hey, we love free on here. <laughs> and not only is it free, I think it sounds good as well. The neat, simple, easy little uh, plug in to use. You can get a cleanish tone out of it if you so wish, and then blend it that in with a sort of more mid rangey sort of distorted tone to uh, help your bass cut through in a mix. Yeah, this is, I don't know if there's any updates of, uh, coming up for this, but. Yeah, I think it sounds pretty good as it is. I don't think it really needs much uh, much doing to it. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. I'll leave a link to uh, where you can grab hold of this from and uh, so you can test it out yourselves. And if you want to grab yourself some evil wizard merch, there's a link to the merch store down in the description. <laughs> but... That's all from me, folks. I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud. Keep it heavy!